Who are we? I'm Shane. This is Brett. That's Kevin, Adam, and Avi, and we are... What is the, what is the name Box Dreams mean? I, uh, I got that for my dad, actually. He worked in a grocery store. They work these super long shifts and go home and sleep for like a couple hours and then come right back to work. And this thing started happening where they started dreaming about working. And uh, they would have these shifts where they were just boxing groceries, like setting them up or taking them off the truck. They called them box dreams. And I thought that was pretty interesting and it, it sounded like it was a uh, multi-layered. So I ended up adopting that. What's actually really cool about this band, the best part about this band, for sure, is that there's a, in my opinion, a highly original sound. And it comes from a bunch of really traditionally experienced musicians and one not traditionally experienced musician. And that's the special sauce. Avi, I love that you're doing the, uh, the guitar part. That sounds awesome. From the recording, you mean? Yeah, yeah. You play it well. And then, could you try just doing like a, a single note when he's doing the solo, just a, like a tone? We have like a three and a half minute song. We'll hand that to Adam and what he brings back, like he'll take it into his room and not tell us what he's doing and we don't ask. And then when he brings it back, it's like this mutated, like Picasso version of what we gave him, which is great. Try to wink at the camera just now, but I winked at the fuzzy thing right above it. <laughs> the first time I played actually with Soft House, it was a different lineup. It was a great group of guys, Gene Moores, Robbie Arroyo. They're still doing music and a really good sound that we had going. The stuff we're doing now is definitely influenced. It's less low fidelity and a lot more influenced by performance. It's a more of a live, we're doing live takes. <laughs> rip, red shirt, rip. Dude, the memory you had in this fucking shirt. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> All right, careful. Might as well make you <laughs> it was worth a shot. Do you take my flower as a token of my promise? Do you like one of these? <laughs> Your lava boy. There we go. Lava girl. <laughs> it was lava girl. Okay, and then maybe try without the red shirt. <laughs> Our favorite show. Your favorite show. My favorite show. The one you guys put on was actually pretty sick. So you sick. know what's funny is that I think it's the one where we on stage to each other sounded best. It was also like, it was pretty sick looking. Adam, <clears throat> what's your favorite show? Soft House, baby. Looked at the moon while I was singing. That's cool. Excited to play here too. This is awesome. The moon. Fuck the moon. <laughs> this one's for the moon. Yeah, this one's for the moon. <laughs> The first show we played was at a bar in Long Beach called Brian. That was, I think it was because it, it was the first show, but it was just so fucking fun. We had so yeah. many people packed in. Yeah. It was really good vibe. I'd go with that show too. Yeah. All right. It all came together. Finally, that was, we had like four months or so of practice or, yeah, in half. But yeah, that was, that was awesome. It's kind of a culmination of that, those early days. We could open for anybody right now. We could open for anybody right now. <laughs> uh, Tame Impala. Yeah. Tame Impala. Uh, no. Uh, BTS. <laughs> um, Our businessman over here. 
I'm not kidding though. If I could open up for anyone, bad, if we could, I would pick the Chili Peppers. I actually really. Fuck yeah, I would. Wow. Yeah. So far, July thirty first. Yeah, let's let's go. That really? I yeah. would say no. If Are they you... offered us a show right now, I would say no. We'd say <laughs> yes to any of these bands. Let's be clear. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. No. For real though, like I'm a contrarian. Who's if that? They offered me. A show and money, I would still say no. What's that band that the kid from Stranger Things is in? Let's oh, get yeah. let's open for them. Like, yeah. I'll take anybody. Honestly, that yeah. probably sounds more like our music. I've listened to his music. That's what we sound like, man. <laughs> I make music because I couldn't not make music. Like it is it's what I do. I have tried doing other things. I'm not very good at them. I started making music kind of therapeutically um and now it's just kind of how i process life so i think i'll just always be doing that it's like a yeah just a, a, a side effect of, of being alive for me now so i make music because i like being in a band really i if i was doing it on my own i, I probably i wouldn't i wouldn't do it i wouldn't have the same momentum but i mean like shane said like a bunch of friends like i didn't know these three guys a year ago, and now we're we're great friends, and um, there's nothing like playing a show with your friends. Yeah, I make music in a band, definitely. Like, I've tried in the past making it myself, it always kind of, I felt like it was too uh, derivative of like other bands or like whatever I'm listening to at the moment, but when we all come together and like all bring our special uh, yeah ingredients into it, it comes out something completely different. I make music because I love it, it's a passion. I could not do it. Also, something that no one said, I don't think, is I, I believe like music is like all art is a timepiece. And, you know, I want I like the idea of, you know, my grandkids or, you know, whoever, some kid in whatever, a hundred years from now, like going through a vinyl thing and digging up, you know, box dreams or Shane or Avi or whatever. And I think, you know, it kind of music kind of makes us larger than life, I think, um, larger than our own lives which last 70 80 120 years you know all these questions are like a total revelation to me i didn't know any of this before this interview i'm not kidding i didn't know there was another band before we did this i had no idea there was another lineup yeah, i didn't we... know i didn't know what box dreams was i didn't know the name of the band i literally never asked don't show any of this you know, it's like <laughs> i'm learning as much as whoever's watching this right now we should just interview each other sometime. I, honestly, <laughs> I feel like we stand to gain.